Today, I want to talk to you about the helmet of salvation. And I'm going to read to you from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 16, 17, and 18. Ready? Here we go. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. God often uses material things to communicate spiritual truth. He will take something that we are familiar with, a door, a grapevine, a piece of bread, and God will use those things as illustrations of spiritual principles and truths. God speaks to us in these pictures because it makes it easier to understand spiritual things. Here, the Apostle Paul did the same thing. He used the armor of an ancient Roman soldier to explain aspects of the Christian life, especially relating to the spiritual struggle that each follower of Jesus experiences. In the section right before us, Paul told us to take the helmet of salvation. Now, in the ancient world, this was usually a leather cap studded with metal for extra strength. Often some kind of plume or feather or decoration was added, perhaps to identify the soldier to his regiment. Salvation is therefore pictured as this kind of helmet, protecting the essential material of your head. A soldier would be foolish to go into battle without his helmet. Paul wrote about this same idea in another passage, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. He wrote this, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. Now, back to Ephesians 6. This speaks of the helmet of salvation in connection to the hope of salvation, as connected with 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 8. You see, the helmet of salvation protects us against discouragement, against the desire to give up, giving us hope, not only in knowing that we are saved, but that we will be saved. It is the assurance that God will triumph. One of Satan's most effective weapons against us is discouragement. When we are properly equipped with the helmet of salvation, connected to hope, again, that's from 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 8, it's hard to stay discouraged. Oh, discouragement may come, but it will also go. You see, our hope isn't in ourself or even in our ability to keep ourselves close to Jesus. Our hope is in Jesus himself and in the rescue, the salvation that he brings to us. To put our hope, our confidence in anything else would be as foolish as a soldier going into battle without a helmet. Don't make that mistake. Grab that helmet of salvation and recognize that you wear it today.